Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be looking at the golden oldies that I'd like to see come through PDC Q School. If you are enjoying these, please remember to leave a like and drop a comment as it helps YouTube to promote it to the people that need to see this. So the first name we're going to be looking at is Scott Mitchell. This ex-world champion finished fifth on the Challenge Tour this year and has effectively had a Pro Tour card due to a good performance in the first weekend of the Challenge Tour. He's beaten the likes of Joe Cullen and Simon Whitlock en route to earning £8,500 on the Players' Championship circuit, missing out on the Players' Championship finals by only £500. He's already qualified for the first round of the UK Open as well as making round two of Q School. So hopefully Scott can do it and I think he was actually the best player not to feature at this year's World Championships that's actively played. I've got big hopes for Scott Mitchell and I'd like to see him come through Q School. We now travel across the pond to three-time world champion and Las Vegas Desert Classic winner John Park. His inspirational run back in 2018 when he made the UK Open quarterfinals off no form shows that he can still do damage even when he isn't quite at his best. We recently saw him at the Canadian qualifier for the World Championship. He finished fifth on the Road of Merit, averaging 82 across the four events. John's managed to inspire an entire continent to come over and challenge the European players. The likes of Matt Campbell, Danny Baggish and Danny Lauby are now really showing what North America is capable of. I hope to see him get one more swan song and get two more years on the tour when he comes through Q School in 2021. Another character I think we need to see back on the biggest stage of them all is Richie Burnett. This ex-world champion and ex-master has been slowly rebuilding his career this year on the Challenge Tour. He finished 12th in the Order of Merit and made one final where he lost 5-4 to eventual champion David Evans. He played the Winter Series and didn't show a great deal of form. He only won one game. However, I think if he got a prolonged period on the tour, we could see him get back to his brilliant best. I hope to see Richie join the lads on the tour and I think he could do some damage if he gets there. Now this for me is the most exciting one of them all. Martin Adams is rumoured to be going to Q School. Now he's no stranger to a PDC competition as he actually played in the match play and made the semi-final and made the Grand Prix quarter-final back in 2001 when the BDO players could play in either code. He broke his invitation duck to attend the Grand Slam back in 2015 and won his initial group game with a 104 average against Ian White. He went on to win all three group games and lost 10-9 to Kim Ibrex in the second round. This three-time world champion was first seen in a big major back in the British Professional Open in 1988, which was eventually won by Jockey Wilson. He's four times the age of Louis Williams, who we mentioned in yesterday's video as one of the young players to watch, but I'd love to see Martin go and mix it with the young players on the tour. I'm really, really excited and I really hope this one comes off. Perhaps with the most fitting nickname in Dart, Dean Mustani has become most remembered for his nine darter against Vincent van der Voort back in 2012. He made the 2011 BDO World Final and lost to our previous name, Martin Adams, 7-5 in the final. After a live recording of some inappropriate behaviour, somewhat derailed his career, leaving him unable to attend Q School after losing his tour card when Stanley has gone completely under the radar. A comeback has been touted in 2021, with both him and his wife attending Q School, and I'd love to see his annex back on the big stage. Finally, I'd like to give one honourable mention to Tony O'Shea. He's got one of the best walk-ons in darts, and I really miss seeing it on the big stage. He's a three-time world champion runner-up and deserves a chance to win something, but I feel his time may have passed and he probably won't make it through Q School. But if he did, we'd love to see him back up there. So that completes the five golden oldies that I'd like to see come through PVC Q School. If you've watched this far, I appreciate it. And if you have enjoyed the video, please think about leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as it would help me out massively on YouTube. Tomorrow's video will be previewing the European Q School players that I'd like to see win a tour card. I will catch you for that video, so I will see you then. 